So I did the perimeter trail here in Uray, which circumnavigates the entire town. It's really cool. It shows you all the amazing things that are here in this town. And then I also went on a solo mission to summit a 14er. Which is a 14,000 foot mountain. Yeah, that was looked amazing. I did it in the past, not this time. Kind of jealous, but that's okay. And now we are heading to our very first Harvest Host location, yeah. which is a place you can stay either at like a winery, a brewery, a distillery, a farm, kind of places like that. And we are going to go stay at a winery today, which looks gorgeous. And how nice is that that we get to like go enjoy our wine and all of that and then just walk back to our house. <laughs> So today, cheers. Cheers, look at my wine. We uh, got to spend our mm, 35 bucks on a nice glass of wine and this beautiful scenery instead of being at an RV park. We are Natalie, TJ, and the bold and brave Camo Dog. Three adventurers from Colorado who are on a mission to unearth this country's beauty as we travel in our towable home. We spent the last year navigating and exploring the Atlantic and Caribbean oceans, but now we are shifting gears to life on the road. Welcome to Adventures of a Lifetime. So we are here getting our first car wash today for the trailer. We just pulled on in. We'll get the car wash somewhere else, but we're doing the trailer today and we're gonna, it needs it. It is coated in just like bugs and dirt and it is disgusting and it is in dire need of a wash, so we're going to go give our first attempt at washing it. You ready to clean it on up? I am, we're gonna get soaked. Oh God, <laughs> I just did my hair. I I'll, can't get soaking wet. I'll do it. Okay, I might, I might stand clear of this massive spray thing. Then there's some big, long reaching brushes there, and I guess that's the plan. I think I'm gonna do rinse first, get everything, and then soap everything, and then rinse again. Okay, step one is completed. It's all washed off. Now we're getting a little scrubby, soapy brush. Oh, I hear it and uh, I'm not getting wet. TJ literally changed his clothes to do this right now. Oh, Nicely done, TJ. I was really wanting to do that. <laughs> You've been mentioning it for a while. I have too, but we're finished. We, you, you're finished. I didn't do anything. But uh, so much dirt came off. It was like layers. <laughs> yeah, it's like dripping brown. I'm sure you saw. Oh yeah, it is sparkling. <laughs> so now we're gonna go check inside and make sure that nothing got water on it, that like yeah. nothing leaked, the doors, nothing, you know, we haven't pressure washed early before this, not pressure, but you know, with high power, more than rain. So we're gonna go double check that nothing got wet inside. We did, we'll clean it up, and then we'll continue from there. <laughs> on the ledge right here. There's a little tiny bit of water near the sink, but that's it. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that's not bad at all. And we have a towel. Woo! Perfect. <laughs> I mean, like hardly anything at all. Nice. How's a success? Yeah, that looks great. After a nice scrub, we are headed north to Palisade to enjoy some vineyards and wine. 
Palisade is located on the west side of Colorado and looks much different than what you would expect to find in Colorado. It borders Utah on this side and in my opinion it looks much more like the desert than it does mountainous Colorado. Regardless, it's a really unique and cool place to visit so if you haven't explored western Colorado you should definitely add it to your travel list. We have made it here and have a beautiful view right out the front window. So we have arrived at our harvest host. It is right out our front door. Um, and TJ went inside and asked if we could bring our own like charcuterie board since we have so many food allergies and can't have like gluten and dairy and all of that. And they said yes. So I'm going to make up a little charcuterie board for us real quick, real quick so that we can enjoy it with our wine. And that would be kind of our little dinner for tonight. Okay, so I did this very quickly, probably like five minutes. Just got the uh, some grapes and cucumbers, some vegan cheese, prosciutto, salami, and we're gonna go bring that outside over to our table. Incoming food. Got the full spread here. Camo is ready for his. Oh, the background is so pretty. Oh yeah. Okay, buddy. So pretty. Good boy. Did you order yet? No, I haven't. We're gonna get the flight, I'm assuming? I don't know, do they have like a bunch of tasters you can choose from? Yeah, that's the tasting flight. Yeah, that's let's what I'm do that. Do too. Yeah, sounds great. Okay. How is your wine? It is delicious. We uh, ended up getting, there's like a local organic, I don't know what you call a person who like owns a vineyard, um, but he makes his own organic, like it's just grapes, there's nothing else in it, wine. And it's very nice. I think we got the, the Zinfandel that we got. Uh, it's called Chill Switch. Yeah, we got the Zinfandel. It's a cute little label. Um, but it is delicious. You got some mm. beautiful mountains behind you. We do have a little ladybug on here. What? Oh my <laughs> How cute is that? No way. <laughs> He's like, give me some of that wine. <laughs> he is. So we're home for tonight. We are, we are here. So I've mentioned Harvest Host a few times now, and if you don't know what Harvest Host is, it is a subscription you can get for a year, and it allows you to stay for free at different places, such as like uh, breweries, wineries, vineyards, farms, all across the entire country. I think they have like thousands of locations. The idea started in Europe, and they did it there, and then they brought it over to the US. And so we were able to stay here for free for the night. There's no hookups usually. Sometimes you can get like electric or water, but we're just over here boondocking. <laughs> and then you kind of get to go and instead of spending like $40 on a hookup, you get to go spend some money and go get some wine and food instead. So today, cheers. Cheers, my wine. We uh, got to spend our mm, 35 bucks on a nice glass of wine and this beautiful scenery instead of being at an RV park. So that is what we are here doing today. Just going to enjoy this. And then the owner just gave us a little map of uh, Palisade. And there's like 30 wineries, she said here. So we're in Palisade right now. I think I might have said it differently this morning, but it's Palisade, it's how you pronounce it. Um, and they're known for their peaches. So Palisade peaches, if you've ever heard of those, that's where they come from. And I guess they're also known for their cherries and lavender. And their wineries. So we might have a few things to check out in the <laughs> next few days. It seems like there are a lot of activities here. <laughs> What's Camo staring at? I have no idea. He can have cucumbers, it's prosciutto is for us. <laughs> so good morning. We had a pretty good night last night. There were a few trains that went by last night and this morning that were pretty darn loud. Like 10 feet away from where our head was. <laughs> so that was a little bit alarming. But other than that, it was a very good night. And now we are off to go see some beautiful fall colors in Colorado. Mm -hmm. 